I'm sure you have heard of the country Somalia. Somalia is notoriously known for pirates. Not these types of pirates, it's these pirates. But there is a lesser known fact about the Somalis pirates, and that is the Pirate Stock Exchange. So imagine waking up on a warm, sunny Somali morning with the ocean not too far away. You rise and see the elephant shrews hopping around, the baboons swinging in the trees, and the dugong splashing in the ocean. You stop and wonder what could you possibly do on such a beautiful day? Maybe some pirating or invest our money? Oh, I know, invest in pirates. The Somali Pirate Stock Exchange works by letting normal citizens invest into their pirate heist. And when they come back, the citizen gets a share of the profit. This pirate stock trading is in fact what inspired modern day stock trading and originates from the Dutch East India Company. The Deke would sell shares to the citizens and pay dividends based on the success of their travels. This is essentially what you would find in Somalia today. The origins of the Somali Pirate Stock Exchange can be traced back to 2011 in a small fishing town named Harard here. With the town being 250 miles away from the closest large city, there were few business ventures. So the townspeople came up with a solution to capitalize on piracy, and thus the Pirate Stock Exchange was established. The Wall Street Journal states that over 70 distinct maritime operations are listed on the Herard Here Pirate Stock Exchange. It had gotten so bad in 2011, the whole city was crowded with luxury cars seemingly overnight. And even district government officials were receiving cuts from the stock exchange to help build schools, hospitals, and other public infrastructure. In an interview with WSJ, a pirate said, The shares are open to all and everybody can take part whether personally at sea or on land, by providing cash, weapons, or useful materials. We've made piracy a community activity. So the pirate business was really helping the small fishing village of Harard here thrive. You may be asking how all of the logistics behind this money-making machine works. The enterprising individuals behind each pirate operation survey trading routes for targets they believe will pay out. When a juicy target comes along, the pirates go to the Pirate Stock Exchange to fund their journey. And absolutely anyone can sponsor the journey using all sorts of materials from food, kerosene, weapons, information, and even cash. After receiving their funding, the pirates go out and attack container ships along the shipping routes and search for their most valuable treasure hostages. Each hostage can be worth up to 4 million USD. Once the pirates get the hostage money, they go home and repeat the process. One lady invested an RPG in the stock exchange and got 75,000 USD in return. On a real note, the problem of Somali piracy can be traced back to the early 1990s, when Somalia descended into a state of lawlessness and political chaos following the collapse of its central government. With no effective navy or coast guard to patrol its vast coastline, the nation's waters became a haven for criminal activities, including piracy. The pirates initially targeted fishing vessels and cargo ships, but their operations soon expanded to include oil tankers and luxury yachts. With the outbreak of Islamic extremists, the Somali government had a hard path of keeping control over the pirates while having to deal with the Islamic extremists and so they got to do what the pleased without government intervention. Some of the root causes of the Somali pirates are socioeconomic factors, poverty and unemployment are pervasive in Somalia, and many young men turn to piracy as a means of survival. The lure of quick and substantial ransom payments provided a powerful incentive. Political instability. Somalia's protracted civil conflict and absence of a functioning government created an environment conducive to piracy. The pirates operated with impunity in the absence of a central authority capable of maintaining law and order. Easy access to weapons. Proliferation of small arms and light weapons in the region facilitated pirate activities. These weapons enabled pirates to hijack ships and intimidate crew members. Over the years, Somali piracy has evolved in response to international efforts to combat it. While piracy incidents have decreased significantly since the height of the crisis, pirates have adapted by employing more sophisticated tactics 
including using motherships to extend their range and employing advanced technology for tracking and targeting vessels. These adaptations continue to pose challenges to maritime security in the region. There are many dangers that piracy causes. Every year, piracy increases the cost of international commerce by 12 billion and in Somalia alone. In 2021 alone, 20 vessels and 400 hostages were being held. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and it would be great if you could leave a like or subscribe.